We begin with breaking news. After two weeks, the manhunt for the escaped fugitive in Pennsylvania is over. You're looking at video right here of Danilo Cavalcante in custody. He was captured around 8 o'clock this morning. The series of events leading to his capture began around midnight. Arthur Chien is in the newsroom with a breakdown of how it all unfolded. Arthur. Chris, what a sigh of relief here. Going on 14 days, this brutal killer has kept communities in Pennsylvania living in fear. Whenever he was spotted, schools were forced to close, roads were blocked, children not allowed to play outside, and people in rural areas checking to see if their locks work, listening for noises while trying to sleep at night. Well, shortly after 8 o'clock this morning, their nightmare ended. After eluding hundreds of searchers in this massive manhunt lasting two weeks, this Escaped inmate Danilo Souza Cavalcante is in custody. Cavalcante, a native of Brazil, is 34 and convicted of murdering his girlfriend, stabbing her 38 times in front of her two very young children. Yet last month, he managed to escape from prison by crab walking up between two walls that were topped with razor wire, then jumping from the roof. His absence was not noticed until more than an hour later. In the days that followed, he hid in the woods, broke into suburban homes for food, changed his appearance and stole a rifle from a garage, increasing fears of a violent encounter. But a series of events unfolded early this morning, beginning with a burglary alarm set off at a home near the search. When teams arrived, he was not there, but air and aircraft started tracking a heat signature nearby. And at 8 o'clock this morning, police, including a canine unit, closed in on him without making a sound. They released the dog. Some of our PSP CERT members were also there, had him surrounded. The dog sub subdued him, and team members from both of those teams immediately moved in. He continued to resist, but was uh, forcibly taken into custody. No one was injured as a result of that. No shots were fired. Calvacanto was evaluated for a dog bite. Now, he is also wanted in connection with a separate killing in Brazil, and it is worth noting right now, the tower guard on duty when he escaped has been fired. Chris. All right, Arthur, thank you very much.